Do we need more repair kits or medical kits? I suppose if we play things right, we need more repair kits. Mm. Unspent karma, only eight. Yeah, that's not too bad. I'm inclined to save the points. Hmm. Maria Mercurial fan. Is that's her or uh, Maria Mercurial Fan. Fan is apparently excited to be in the same city as the rock star. Hey, how you doing? You here for the Maria Mercurial concert? You bet, can you get me in? I wish I could get, get in. They just announced this thing an hour ago, all spontaneous like. Of course, by the time I got here, all the tickets were already gone. I'm gonna try and find a better spot to hear. Healer, slick security guard. Where exactly do we need to go anyway? Uh, I guess somewhere here maybe. It's a wonderful beard you have. Do mm. you know anything about the Universal Brotherhood? That's what I see on the tri -D. Hey, do you work for the Rockstar? Yes ma'am, I work for Maria Mercurial. Something I can do for you? Uh, can I meet her? No. Mm, I'd like to just leave this conversation now and not give him the... I don't really have any reason to meet her now. Yeah, I'm an old friend of hers. Uh, uh. Yeah, sure you are. Yeah, I'm going to look around. I wish I wouldn't have to try even something so pathetic. So I would have wished uh, I could have just backed down from that instead of just going all in with something really stupid. A dealer. <clears throat> it wouldn't be a rock concert without drug dealer. Although no police are nearby, he plays the part as if his performance was part of the experience. Psst. You like you like nerves? Maybe something stronger? Nerves? been living under a rock on my nerves is the wonder drug. It'll cure, cure whatever ails you. Mm, show me what you have. Jazz, kamikaze and nitro. Combat stimulants. Body plus two. Uh, but it, these are only for five rounds so you get through the toughest part I guess. I'm not really interested.
I paid a lot of money to have this group of people, so they're more than enough to make this. Okay, you know, this is where we need to be. Can we be anywhere else? I don't think so. Yeah. Let's go. Hello, Patrick. Welcome, sister. Are you ready to build a better tomorrow? I sure am. That's great news. Come in and find the power of belonging. Okay, can I ask you some questions first? Of course, sister. Go right ahead and ask. Hmm. Tell me about Lynn Telestrian. Happily, Mother Lynn is our chapter's most dynamic spokesperson. She is truly an inspiration to all of us. Okay, that wasn't much of information. Okay, that's all for now. Okay, do you know Jessica Watts? Horus, Grandmother Jessica, is the leader of this chapter of the Universal Brotherhood. Okay, that's all for now. Great, come in and find the power of belonging. You hear the sound of soft music playing within, and what many soft slippers sliding across a smooth floor. Oh, sister, I forgot to mention that everyone must enter the Universal Brotherhood alone. Hmm, I'm going to need some moral support. In order to become part of a larger family, we must first know ourselves. You need to hear our message in solitude so that your mind can be clear from distraction and the shackles of this heartbreakingly oppressive world. Blow me. Oh, there's a whispers in your ear. We'll wait outside for you, Aunt May. I'll take the team and circle around the building, looking for another way in. I'll chirp you on your comlink if we find one. That would have been funny. Uh, you play a huge amount of cash to get the team in, and then they <laughs> the door, the door, guy guarding the door just says, "Nope, you can't come in. Go home now." Oh, and then you don't get them later on even in the mission. So you have a chance to pay, throw away your money down a well. Okay, Universal Brotherhood. In contrast to the noise and energy of the crowd outside. The lobby of the Universal Brotherhood is sedate, tranquil, acquiescent. The low music piped through the room is something from a day spa mixed with a planetarium sky show, allowing listeners to achieve maximum relaxation while reaching for the stars. Brothers and sisters from every race and every branch of meta-humanity mill about with blissful smiles and shining eyes. Greeting each other with head nods, palm touches, and murmured blessings. The woman at the front desk offers you a welcoming smile as you enter, her hand automatically moving to her stack of religious literature. Uh, I guess the first order of business is to try to get the team in here somewhere. The sweeping walls, the muted colors, and the soothing music of the Universal Brotherhood's entrance hall are all designed to relax you. Sister Sally. Hi! Welcome to the Universal Brotherhood. I will be with you in just a second. She turns to the other woman at the desk. Sister Monica. You had to be more careful with your ID. He reaches down to a box on the floor. Here is a blank key card. Take it and your ruined card to Brother Christopher, and he will let you into the office to program a new one. Thank you, Sister Sally. Sister Monica has lost her card, I guess. 
Sister Sally smiles. Of course, truth makes us one. The younger lady turns back to you and smiles. I'm sorry about that. How can I help with you? Is Lynn Telestrian here? I believe so. I think she arrived at the end of Father Willie's talk, so you might still find her in the auditorium. Uh, Jessica Watts? I'm sorry, I don't know. I only see Grandmother Jessica at special ceremonies and even that, only at a distance. You might ask Mother Lynn. Lynn Telestrian? If you can catch her in the auditorium. No, I have a blank. No. Mm, enough questions. I'm not going to ask for a black key card. I'm taking a black key card. Next to you, next to the desk, is a cardboard box filled with blank Universal Brother ID cards. If you could get one and damage it, maybe you could use it and get into the office and program a new card. So I take a blank key card. Excuse me, please leave the key cards alone. Hmm. Did you know that there's a Maria Mercurial concert right outside? Her eyes light up. I know, isn't it exciting? Such a big fan of hers. First time I heard who weeps for the children, I melted inside. I not tell anyone, but she's signing an autograph outside right now. She chews her lip torn and makes a decision. I know the elders will frown on this, but I've just got to get her autograph. I mean, it's Maria Mercurial. Who are you? Sister Wilma. It's a cafeteria. Looks like the maintenance staff has left their equipment out. Look at the tools. Hammer, number of screwdrivers, and a seemingly random collection of screws, bolts, and nuts. There's a can labeled kerosene and a can labeled paint solvent. Ah. Dip your blank Universal Brotherhood ID card into the paint solvent. Plastic ID card melts into solvent enough to, rec to be recognizable as a UB card but hide that it did not have anything printed on it. And I took the kerosene. As you approach the janitor, he looks up, seemingly surprised that anyone noticed he was here. What do you want? Hmm. A little bit of information. <laughs> okay. What do you got in mind? Because you're not my type, okay? Uh, I bet you see a lot of things around here, and I want to hear about some of them. You mentioned money? I don't know yet. Let's talk and then I'll pay what you you for what it's worth. Oh yeah, like my grandpa used to say, the check is in the mail. I don't think so. Whatever happened to trust? Put some money up front though, no deal. 
Okay, how about 100 yen now and another 200 if I like what you say. You got a deal. He hands you his script stick and you transfer 100 yen to it. Okay, what do you want to know? Okay. Tell me what areas of this place you have access to. I only have access to the public space which we are in now. The storage room, locker room and the office. Hmm. Uh, what do you know of the areas you don't have access to? Brothers and sisters live in what's called the home, which I've heard has a kitchen and dorm rooms. From there, I've been told there is a ton of security protecting what the freaks call the inner sanctum. I've never seen any of that stuff. Hmm. I need a computer terminal. Do you know where one is? The only computer I've seen in the place are in the office section of the home. Behind the staff only doors. Hmm. About Jessica Watts. Nope, but that don't mean much. Most of his most of this place is off limits to me. Okay. You could get a key card from him for for two hundred. The warming stove could be used to warm up a plate of food, melting something, or maybe starting a fire. Uh, walk away. We don't want to make a di diversion yet. Members only. Let's see what, what they're going after here. Father Willie. Father Willie's greasy black hair and disturbing tattoos are quite the contrast to the flawless features and exquisite clothes of Lynn Telestrian. He doesn't look the part of a spokesman. spokesman. You see the adulation in the eyes of those who linger around him just to bask in his presence a moment more. Apparently, he is a charismatic speaker. Welcome, my friend, from the shadows. I rejoice to be with you. My past does not need to be my future. No, it doesn't. Perhaps you have already taken the first steps. How oh, may I assist you? Hmm, I'd like to speak to you... I'd like to speak to Lynn Telestrian. Many are attracted to the bright light that is Lynn Telestrian, but she, but she cannot see everyone. What business do you have with her? Hmm, she's going to help me to come out of the shadows and into the light. Mother Lin is a beacon that helps many come into the light of the Universal Brotherhood. Unfortunately, she left the building about 15 minutes ago. One of our counselors could help you to join our family. You, you should seek their counsel. Will that be all, my child? What about Jessica Watts? May I ask what business do you have with Grandmother Jessica? She's very busy. Hmm. Uh, uh, these ter options are terrible. Because we, if we, because there's a good chance the information is not contained to him if we tell him. We're after the Reaper or the Brothers Murderer. We're basically <laughs> announcing who we are in, in advance. And if we say that's none of your business, that's uh, very suspicious. Mm, I'm guessing 
Emerald City Reaper has, I, I guess, officially already been dealt with, so I don't think we should use that. So I'm working to solve her brother's murder. Grandmother Jessica has entered the inner sanctum and cannot be disturbed. I must tell you that the news of her brother's murder would not change anything for her. When we joined the Universal Brotherhood, we put our both birth families behind us and devote ourselves to belonging to something larger. I know that this seems heartless and it may be hard to understand, but if you speak with one of our counselors, it will all start to make sense. Is that all? Thank you for your time, father. Mm -hmm. Brother Mike. I'm sorry but today's seminar is over. Father Willie is just answering a few questions before he leaves. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where well, we know all of these. Okay. Where is Grandmother Jessica? I'm not privileged to know where Grandmother Jessica is, but Father Willie might. Yeah, we know. Is Lynn Telestrian here? No, Mother Lynn left about 15 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Does mother and father reflect them being in charge? Yes, mothers and fathers lead us with their knowledge and experience. Well, that was a waste of time. Members only. Sister Wilma. Hello, sister. What can I help you with? Questions, questions. That's why we are here. What are your questions? Where's the counseling center? Just on the other side of the entrance lobby. Hmm. Okay. Uh, my UB Home access keycard got ruined. How do I get a new one? Sister Brenda can help you with that. Last I saw her, she was in front of the office door inside the counseling center. What do you know about the inner sanctum? It's a place of great meditation to which only our senior members our mothers and fathers have access. Do you like it here? I love being part of the Universal Brotherhood. Belonging helps everyone. We have a free soup kitchen that feeds the hundreds of people every day. Educational talk in the auditorium and a counseling center to help prospective members with deep one-on-one -on -one therapy. Hmm. Is there a computer terminal I could use? No, we believe it is important to remove mundane distraction from our daily life, so we can focus on the truth. Our only computers are in the office, and that's off limits to so prospective members. Yeah. Offices, then. Is that a sister or a Nancy? Brother Christopher. Yeah, I think we need to talk to him. Anything else? I've done bad things. Your past is irrelevant. It's your future that counts. Welcome to the Universal Brotherhood's Counseling Center. What's your name? Aunt May, and you? I'm Sister Nancy. Tell me something about yourself so that I can pair you with the right counselor. Hmm. I've lived in the shadow, so give me someone who understands the life of a runner. I know the perfect sister to speak with you. She has a similar background and talks shadow running. 
You two would get along fabulously, but she isn't in today. The rest of my counselors are currently booked. Come back tomorrow. I rejoice to be with you. How may I help you, Brother Christopher? I guess this is the uh, choice you can get to get inside the office areas to get the key card. Uh, alternatively, you can cause a distraction with the fire and sneak your way in, I suppose. Hmm. Okay, Sister Sally at the front desk sent me to you. And why did she send you to me? Uh, my key card was ruined and I need a new one. You have your old key card. Yeah, hand him the melted UV key card. Whoa, what happened to this? Uh, it melted in the clothes dryer. You would be surprised how many times I've heard that one. Why are you out of uniform? Okay, was I marked or was I working under cover? I would I work, be working under cover? Let's say I was marked while recruiting in the barons. Really sorry to hear that. I'll let you into the office and you can use the terminal to log in. Make yourself a new card. Your calm link chirps and a coyote appears on the screen. How's it going? Okay, I found a way into the off-limits area of the Brotherhood. Jessica somewhere in here. You find another way in, in this place? Yep, I went down an alley and found a side door near the back. I'll send the coordinates so you can find it. Okay, when I find it, I'll let you in. Take your time to look around and open the door when you're ready. We're chill here. The cardboard box is labeled UV blank key parts. You'll take one. The display reads Enter blank key card to activate machine. Universal Brotherhood CNL Chapter Keycard Printer. Please enter the following information when requested. Name. Um, decking. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, we have a. Uh, shit, we don't have a karma. Shit. Shit. Maybe we do. One more to decking. We might be able to get an inner sanctum key part this way. Yeah. Print a Universal Brotherhood Inner Sanctum Access Key Card. Key card printing for Mother Aunt May. Key card complete. Warning. This key card provides access to high security area. Approved uniforms are required in all high security areas. Okay. Take the Universal Key Card. Um. I wonder if I can make home access key card too. I might. I, I need a uniform. Um, walk away. What? Optional. Make home access key card. Is that completed or not? Um, 
purely the inner sanctum. Why can't I do both? Ah, shit. Ah, Universal Brotherhood Terminal. Login Sister Doni Wears. Seattle Chapter Brother and Sister Database. Okay. Decking. Use decking skill to unlock admin functions. Authorize new key cards. Father Willie has authorized the following new key card to be printed. Click name to see UBID. Monica Sancha. Embargers. Dale. View attendance logs. No logs viewable at this time. Correspondence. No logs. Okay, uh, I'm saving. Uh, we we ha should have an ID. Yeah, Monica Shant shop. Omdurm B. Uh, I have no idea. Yeah, we do need to recheck the information. I didn't real. Unless I had to. Okay, Monica Sancho. No idea what use this is, but maybe it come will come useful at some point. The holographic map disc displays the Universal Brotherhood logo. Holodisc animates to display a high-level blueprint of the facility that labels the touch to zoom into each area. Click areas. Zooms, zooms to show the entrance hall, auditorium, cafeteria of the Union Pool, Brotherhood, Seattle chapter. Staff areas. Uh, storeroom, staff locker room, kitchen. With a notation that the kitchen is actually part of the home area from a security point of view. Home areas. Holodesk zooms in to show you four dormitories, office and the kitchen area that make up the home area. You notice that the kitchen has an external door that there is a heavy security around the door to the sanctuary area. Okay, we probably need to go to the kitchen. Door may. Don't be... Um, yeah, Monica is Dawn B. The 
HoloDeck zooms in to display a mainframe computer room, several offices, and a magical research library for the Brotherhood mothers and fathers, and an extensive network of tunnels that the offices connect to. Okay, inner sanctum residence. Grandmother Jessica, Father Willie, Mother Lynn, Queen in Waiting, Sister Marie Louise, Father Wiseman, Father Beetleman, Father McCain, Father Cornert. Uh, McCain was uh, a surname in the in the law office that uh, handles the, the dead man's witch contract. Mm. Wonder if he's part of the fatherhood. The waste basket is filled with dozens of outgoing letters from the new brotherhood and sisters to family members. The waste basket is filled with shredded paper which appears to have been letters. There are two letters which escape the shredder. Dear Charles, we have been trying to read you for months. We have come to the Universal Brotherhood several times and every time have been told that we could not see you. Since you are not allowed to go online in any way, the only way we can try to contact you is by letters which we have done time and again with no response. How can you forget the people that raised you and loved you, mom and dad? From the desk of, of Monica Sanchoff, Dear Brian, I want you to know how happy the Universal Brotherhood has made me, but I am sad that I never get any response from my letters to you. I would email or message you, but as, I, as you know, from my letters, we are not allowed to go online. You know that I have loved you since the day you were born. Mom and Dad always gave me crap for never being able to pronounce your name when you were a baby, but it's been an endearing name for me, so call you ever since. Please reply to this letter. Love, Sister Monica. Dear Brian. Hmm. Pleasure, yeah. More letters. Ah, Mega Sancho. Uh, I think she was in Dorm B. Number mm -hmm. Select correct password retrieval prompt. Uh uh baby bree. Keycard printing. Keycard complete. Warning. This card provides access to high security area. Proved uniforms are required in all high security area. Yeah. Home access keycard gain. How the fuck are I going to take a uniform? Well, anyway, optional mission complete. And we do have access here, so. Streamers and greeting cards decorate the lower bunk. Okay, look at the cards. There are two greeting cards. There are two greeting cards are taped to the bunk. One is a giant homemade card, the other is professionally printed and features the logo of the Universal Brotherhood. Okay. Homemade card. Julie, we are all so proud of you for advancing to the inner sanctum. 
Remember us slowly brothers and sisters and come visit us often. Love, Monica and your fellow dorm mates. Okay, professional card. Dear sister Julie, it is my pleasure to invite you to join us in the inner sanctum as a mother of the Universal Brotherhood. I have left your upgraded key card in your locker. Uh, we rejoice to be with you, Father Willie. Mm -hmm. Search the bunk. Fresh Universal Brotherhood Sisters uniform. Take the uniform. Okay, we needed to do that. The locker has a name tag on it. Reading Sister Julie. Okay, attempt to pick the lock. You quietly pick the lock, opening the locker. You find an inner sanctum key card right now. Well, it's good to have spares, I guess. On the lower bunk is a draft of a letter. Dear mom and dad, I write you every day, but I never hear back from you. Maybe what they're saying here is true. Maybe you never loved me at all. I think that this will be my last letter. Your ex, John Charles. The locker contains a brother's uniform. It does not fit you. Yeah, you have one male and one female option, I guess. Uh, that looks like a uh, feature red, so... The locker contains a Universal Brotherhood Sisters uniform. And the brothers inform. Box rotting slip. Transfer for sale in thrift shop. Read the slip. Reason for transfer. Shane could not accept the truth and will no longer be needing these things. Has been moved downstairs. Good the box. The boxes contain clothes and personal items, including a photo of cherry bomb. Digging deeper, you can confirm that they are belongings of Brother Shane. Yeah, what a shocking development there. Mm. This should be the kitchen, right? Yeah, I think that's the back door. Where are you? Cook. That's up to you. Yes, sister. What can I do for you? Oh. Where does the door with the grate go to? It opens to the alley outside. Do not open that door, or the whole damn facility goes into lockdown mode. Where do the arch doors go? One goes to the cafeteria and the other goes to the home area. The heavily guarded door to the inner sanctum. Hmm. Can you tell me about the kitchen? The most important thing is don't touch anything, especially the damned alley door or the whole facility goes into lockdown mode. I've got a break until dinner, so I'm going out for a beer. See you around. Okay, lockdown mode. We open that. Industri industrial sized food processor that could make food for an army of babies. The fridge contains mostly things that are either brown or green, with the primary difference seeming to be age. The broken vending machine seems like it could be moved. Ah. Try to push it out of the way. 
Yeah, the machine is grinding on the ground. It needs lubricant in order to move. Okay. We cannot open that, so we need to get that moved somehow, I guess. Live specimens keep refrigerated. You open the box to find it swarming with extremely large cockroaches. It's lubricant. Grease. The warming stove could be used to warm up a plate of food, melting something, or maybe starting a fire. What's this? Storage room. Great. Crates label reads liquefied cane sugar, one gallon cans, 24 counts. You see lots of these around on the shelves. Industrial toilet cleaner. Large sub is labeled cooking lard. The lid is extremely greasy. Take the lard. Lard doesn't fit in your pocket, so you're going to have to carry it around. Blard. The shipping pallet has six boxes with chloroform bottles in them. Chloroform could be used to knock someone out if you get them alone. Okay, take a bottle. Ooh, who's the lucky lady that gets chloroform here? Locker room. No, it's a. Yeah, search the locker. The locker has a well-worn uniform that would fit a dwarf. In the uniform's pocket is a keycard. Uh, keycard. Edward Charpel, janitor, takes the uniform. Uh, I guess it's an uh, option for a uh, dwarf. The door on the locker has been ripped off. Yeah, two uniforms crammed into the locker. Troll and orc size. Okay, this is a uh, option for different meta humans. The locker door has tape over the latch to prevent it from locking. Is there the locker? The locker contains neatly clipped articles and a uniform that will fit a human or an elf. Pick the articles. Articles are about a variety of mission, m missing persons cases in which the missing person had become a member of the Universal Brotherhood. In the articles, a, a spokesperson for the Brotherhood says that these people are not missing. They have cut ties to the families who abuse them as children. Okay. Do we need to cook the lard? Uh, we might still not have the strength to do this. Yeah. Spread the lard on the ground, then push the vending machine out of the way. With some slight creaking, the vending machine slides away to reveal a secret door. You must let your team in from the alley before attempting to open the secret door. Ah, so... What was the fudging point of hiring these guys? It seems like we could... So, we might be able to access the inner sanctum area and chloroform someone there, capturing him or her. So, is there even any point to having the... I paid th uh, closer to 3000 for the support, so... Money well spent, I guess, at this point.
Uh, I'm saving and going to take a look at the inner sanctum. I'm not sure I'm going to go there. Tuli. Uh, I want to look at our options. Secret passage could go anywhere. Beneath the Brotherhood. Past the door is a short passage leading to a freight elevator. You hit the down button and the elevator rumbles its descent. Past where a basement would be. As where a parking garage would be, the doors open to a very different environment from the one you left. Gone is the airy, soothing atmosphere of the Brotherhood's public face. The corridor leading from the elevator is util util utilitarian and sterile. The spa music replaced by echo nothingness. Somewhere ahead, far below the Universal Brotherhood, is Sam's twin sister. Somewhere ahead, beneath the veneer of unity and belonging, is Sam's killer. Same woman. Jessica Watt.